guys, it's Miss Coconut. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So it saddened me to realize that on February the 11th, it was the anniversary of Whitney Houston's death. She was known as The Voice, right? We can't even say who had a voice like hers. Who's comparable to her voice? I don't know anybody, okay? Even after repeated alleged drug use and abuse and her voice changed, she still had a very melancholy resonance to her voice. Anyway, we all were in love with Whitney, right? And as tumultuous as her life was, her death and burial were very strange. Even stranger than her life, I think. So, for example, when she was found, someone had taken her driver's license out of her wallet. I don't know what that did in this scenario because obviously she's Whitney. They say she drowned in like a, I think, an inch of water. That there was a lot of drugs in the room, champagne in the room, I think beer in the room but also that um, she had cocaine in her system, which her alleged um, sister-in-law, Pat Houston, said she wasn't aware that Whitney had been using drugs again. Anyway, there was a lot of speculation about um, the idea that maybe this was one of those Hollywood type of takeouts, you know what I'm trying to say. And there was lots of symbolism, occult symbolism present at the funeral that made people ponder the significance of the timing of her death. But you know, what I thought was interesting is that at the time of her death, she was worth $20 million. All of that money went to Bobby Christina, her only child. And once that happened, her estate actually quadrupled and then Bobby Christina died. So that money went to Whitney Houston's mother and two brothers, which one of the brothers is married to Pat Houston, who, if you've been following any of this history, you know that allegedly all is not right in China. If you get what I'm saying. Anyway, Rise in power to our dear sister, our flower, the voice Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina.